Hey folks, Tim here, um, and today I want to talk about my new Silverfish Silver Bullet microphone. Uh, it's really cool. Let me just play a quick preview, and then we can get into some of the details about it. All right, so this is what it looks like up close. Here's a harmonica for scale, about the same size. Has a gain knob here, and it's got this grill cover, um, which comes in a variety of different finishes. I got wood just because it doesn't clack like plastic does if you hit your harmonica up against it. Uh, plus it just kind of has that organic look, and I like the way it looks. Comes in all sorts of different colors, black, pink, yellow, red, you name it. It has a rubber coating around the outside where you grip it and that's terrific because when you start to sweat, and I do sweat when I play, the harmonica doesn't, you know, and the mic, all that stuff doesn't squirt out of your hand like a watermelon seed. Uh, in the back it's got a quarter inch jack where you can put your instrument cable directly to the microphone. This is a huge advantage to me because I was forever, and still am, stepping on my own cable and here, it just yanks out of the jack, no harm, no foul. On my old green bullet, it would pull completely out of the casing, and my soldering skills are poor. This was a pain in the butt. The only real quibble that I have about any of this is the name of it, Silver Bullet. Traditionally, bullet-shaped mics have always looked like this. Although, to be fair, nobody has ever loaded anything that looks like this into a gun, and in fact, it looks a bit more like a teacup than a bullet, but the sure green teacup was just not a bluesy enough name, I guess, so they called it a bullet. Anyway, since then, all mics that look like that have been bullets. This one doesn't really look like that, but in its defense, it does look more like an actual bullet. And, you know, if you happen to have a werewolf problem out in the shed, this might come in handy. Uh, as far as the gain knob is controlled, uh, <laughs> concerned, I bought a little control knob that fits over the top. This is either a quarter inch or a six millimeter uh, shaft, I'm not sure which. Anyway, this is a quarter inch button, fits over the top of it, you screw it down and it's fine. Uh, Silverfish does sell their own knobs with these things, do yourself a favor and order it along with the microphone, something I forgot to do. Um, and then if you want to get it after the fact, it'll cost you extra shipping or you have to wait for six weeks for them to row it over. Um, that's really about all I have to say. It's solidly built, feels like you could drop it and not break it. Uh, I wouldn't recommend that, but I think you could. It looks cool, it sounds great, and uh, it has, you know, just as ballsy a tone as my old green bullet does. And in fact, what I'm going to do now is play a couple of comparison riffs on the on the mic'd versions of these so that you can hear the difference between these two microphones playing on a East Top B flat harmonica. And I think you'll hear that this thing has every bit as much, if not more, grit and power than the old green bullet does. Um, 
They both cost about the same. So, you know, from a cost perspective, there's not much difference. They're all about $100, $130, somewhere around there. Um, but uh, this one, I think, has more flexibility. It's a little bit more articulate than the green bullet. It doesn't corner you into, you know, one particular sound, which is specific to the green bullet. It's not a bad sound, don't get me wrong, but I think there's more flexibility associated with this. Anyway. Let's plug back in and see what these two microphones sound like head to head. between the green bullet and the silver bullet. Quick outro here with my Bugera, little BC-15, slightly different sound, slightly uh, uh, smaller form factor, same great mic. Oh, by the way, before I forget, the microphones all come with these really cool little padded cases that keep them from clacking around in your box with... Anyway, enough of that. By the way, uh, for those of you that are interested in amp settings for these sorts of things, this is a Vox VT30. Um, purists hate these because they're modeling amps, but they've got a pretty good sound for harmonica on at least one or two of the models. The one that I use is the Tweed 4x10. Gain, volume, straight up, treble at 25%, mid-range, straight up. Bass, probably about 80%, no reverb, and then I have a little bit of delay on the sound. So, you know, you can argue about tube versus solid state until you're blue in the face, but to my way of thinking, if it sounds good, why not use it? And this amp cost me $99 used, so I'm pretty happy with it. Anyway, that's just a footnote. Happy harping, everybody.